Prince Harry was shocked by Invictus CEO Scott Moore's decision to kick him out of a board meeting. Hello everyone, welcome to our place where we provide you with the most recent celebrity news as we ripple through the power corridors and the ensuing media frenzy. Make sure you subscribe and enable notifications if this is your first visit. The sudden removal, which apparently happened during a heated debate, highlights the intricate relationship that exists between royal ties, business governance, and celebrity status. The flare of expectations is at the core of the issue. Being on a corporate board, however, entails more than just having a prominent title, it also calls for proactive participation, thoughtful decision-making, and a thorough comprehension of the goals of the company. There is no denying Prince Harry's charm and power. Concerns have been voiced regarding his degree of participation and input in the boardroom. Scott Moore, the chief executive officer responsible for guiding Invictus through challenging times and guaranteeing the company's continuous prosperity, has led the company through both its achievements and setbacks. His unwavering devotion to maintaining the company's principles and his unwavering pursuit of excellence are what define his leadership style. There are divergent reports coming from both camps regarding what transpired before Prince Harry was ejected from the board meeting, thus the events surrounding it are still unclear. Conflicts about the organization's direction and resource distribution are said to have been the source of tensions for weeks, according to some reports. However, other accounts refer to a single explosive encounter that set off the climax battle royal but one thing is certain, Moore's choice to bar Prince Harry from the gathering conveyed a strong message about corporate governance. No matter one's background or royal ancestry, meritocracy ruled supreme, everyone was subjected to the same performance and responsibility standards. For Moore, the choice was a practical reaction to the demands of leadership, which Harry lacked rather than motivated by personal vendetta or a desire to establish supremacy. Prince Harry announced the appointment of Scott Moore as the new CEO for the 25th Invictus Games, set to take place in Whistler. Given Moore's experience in the business, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex intend to use their celebrity status to make the event one that everyone will want to attend. Prince Harry has named seasoned TV executive Scott Moore as the new CEO of the 2025 Invictus Games. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are negotiating a changing media landscape in the wake of their documentary's underwhelming box office performance, which coincides with this momentous announcement. With four decades of experience in the broadcasting business, Harry and Meghan are more seasoned professionals who bring to the table a remarkable portfolio that includes overseeing major sports TV partnerships like the Olympics and FIFA World Cup. His nomination is interpreted as a definite indicator that the pair intends to use Moore's vast network and their star power to wrangle a big television deal for the upcoming Invictus Games, which will include winter sports for the first time. The purpose of the Invictus Games is to provide veterans and injured service members with a stage on which to demonstrate their tenacity and willpower. The Games have inspired and given hope to a great number of people worldwide. With Moe's hiring, the groundwork may be laid for a possible partnership with Netflix or other big streaming providers, which would turn the Invictus Games into a television event that is not to be missed. The combined power of the couple's influence and Moe's experience may be enough to elevate the game's status and guarantee their place in sports history. There are still issues with the game's management, even with a year till the opening ceremony. Following the dismissal of the previous CEO and chief commercial officer, Moore must now step up to fill the hole. The newly appointed CEO is enthusiastic, saying he is confident in producing elite competitions that will not only highlight the extraordinary abilities of the competing athletes but also serve as a monument to the tenacity and unwavering spirit of the human, music, race.